since I had some leftover key resistant paint from the exhaust, I decided to paint the rocker cover. I took it off already. Yes, it has a little bit of uh, whatever it's called right here. Um, I don't know, rubber glue on there. Um, so I'm going to take that off. I mean, it's technically off already. Um, so I took this shit off. It looks great in there. It looks good. Nothing bad. Um, so this tensioner, it broke. So that was loose. That's supposed to be on here. It was just rattling there. Not doing a thing, but just moving around. So I'm about to take that off right now. So it was this thing. I was like, when I took it off, it came out fine. It was all crooked at first. It was like, you know, so it made a noise. And I guess that's, that's what the uh, seller told me it was. So I think it's a 13. Let's take these out. That's a, yeah, it is a 13 millimeter. So I'm going to take that out and paint the rock cover. And I'll show you that inside. So I ended up masking it first instead of uh, sanding it because if you sand it, I feel like um, when you're sanding it, a little dust will go inside the holes without masking them. So masking first, sorry about saying uh, to, to sand and then mask. So do this first and then you can sand. So I'm going to use this a little electric thing and sand this off and all that. so continue the whole thing I'm really gonna just focus on just the top area and then kind of sand here on the sides so I can just make this look a little bit nicer it's not professional it does make the car look a lot better and it is definitely worth it so why not you know I'm not gonna take a lot of time into it if I am it's because I would put like a candy color on top, like a nice blue or something. But since it's just matte black, nothing special, I'm just going to sand it, put it on, and then put this on there, and we're good to go. Okay, guys, so this is probably the worst way to freaking sand this uh, rocker cover. The thing is, if you guys have paint stripper or, you know, some liquid that you put on top and it strips the paint, definitely use that. I have lacquer thinner. I don't think that's going to work. It needs to be, like, really strong. So this is how it's looking so far. And I'll show you guys how I basically do the process. Just kind of go around. I go to an angle right here to get behind these uh, posts. And then continue all around. Right here. Sorry. I was just showing you guys. But... So you get the basic of what I'm trying to say, just go around. And then when you get up there, then you go around again with the higher parts, like up here. There, so then kind of just go from here to there and then to this side and then to finish it off I like to go in here And then on this side. I'm sure we're just pretty much done. Start unmasking and let it dry. Make sure you put this somewhere inside so bugs don't get on it. So this is how the rocker cover looks like right now. And it looks good. But I've noticed where places that had oil it's kind of like bubbly like right there I don't really mind that I, I don't care it looks perfectly fine to me especially right here it had tons of oil you can see that kind of bubbly type of paint either way that's fine with me so that's how it looks it's a little rainy it looks a little weird right now but hey it's matte it's not really 
super good looking. I'm thinking of next time, I'm gonna use this as a primer, and then next time paint it red, so it can kind of match with somewhat of the, the post right there, and I don't know, just these little uh, fuel injectors to paint it red. That's what I'm gonna do next, so right now it's just basically painting it black, or you can call it primer, um, but it was just heat resistant paint. I took off the ticking noise, the little things over there, it's gone. What I could really hear is just the belt kind of like squeaking because of the rain. Besides that, everything's good. Um, so yeah, it's a little windy, so I'm going to let you guys go and that's how it looks at the end. So this is how it sounds. I really don't hear any ticking in the front. I used to obviously, it wasn't even that loud, but just I could tell, you know. But um, even the, I could hear the little uh, windshield wipers, but that's like normal. And then um, that's pretty much it, but it's so much quieter. The only thing that I could hear when I'm driving is the exhaust in the back. It's, a, it's kind of a little bit loud, but that's pretty much it. So yeah, thank you for watching and have a good one guys. So I installed it in the car literally like an hour or two ago and I decided to take it off because it looked really really ratchet being matte black just in general being black it just doesn't look you know pop it doesn't pop out the the rocker cover so I decided to paint it red obviously um I already did three coats of it um I'm going to give it the final touch ups I guess so this is how it went down so I sanded it with literally regular sandpaper and the level of sandpaper it is it's uh, 255 grid if I'm correct and um, no it's actually yeah 222 two, two, or whatever it's called 22, 222 grid paper and um, sanded it what I did after I used this paint thinner and I basically put it on there and yeah and now I need to find the cap to cap this back up but uh so I used this and put it over here to let it dry then after it was dried I began my first coat second coat third coat what I did is just focus on the parts that didn't get painted like for example right here Oh, this part wasn't painted as well, so I focus on there. So now, literally, like now, it's all painted well. But the thing is, with my fourth coat, it's going to be basically a coat that seals it all. That kind of like gets all over the place. Like first is like all over. Second is all over. And then third is just focusing on the parts that doesn't have any. Fourth is just going all over again, but make sure you get everything. So... So yeah, I use this paint thinner. This is the brand. Uh, I would say get it at your Sherwin Williams store or something like that. Also, use this paint to do the red uh, rocker cover color, 500 degree paint. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the last coat. I'll show you guys how I do it. I guess. Oh yeah, one thing you guys should do is always clean this nozzle. Some of the, the nozzles that come in these cans are really old or whatnot. I need to be clean often and when you do clean it even though it is a good nozzle it should uh, should help you spray better so let's clean that guy make sure that's clean and after that I think that's good to go so yeah sometimes they do clog up and when you're spraying it shoots like uh, big chunks of paint it looks bad and you got to redo it and then if you try to take it off it takes off the whole paint so here we go last coat make sure you get a test you know test spray make sure it's going good and then what I like to do like always start at the very bottom there you go like that Then you start doing the top, start going higher. See how I'm not emphasizing on one spot, I'm just going all over. 
So right now I'm back to the spot I began and just go all around. Whoops, I got a little bit too much there, but it's not dripping. It's all good. Um, what else? You kind of stand back like this. You could really see the paint, how well it's layered. Obviously, right here, I didn't get much. But there we go. And then now, it's good to go. So this is the front part. So focus. Make sure this looks good. Make sure it's not dripping. Back there, not so much. Doesn't really matter. So what I did, so one thing I should do that I didn't do is flip it this way where the sun's pointing or whatever so you can see how it's going to look from the front because that's what's more important. And here we go, one last spot I, I missed. There we go. There was like a little bit right there that was missing. Now it's good. So that's that. I think we're just pretty much ready to go. Actually, I don't know if you guys should do this. Just do what I did, but this is just me being dumb. I'm going to give it an extra coat on top just in case I miss something that I can't see. So here we go. This one should be very light. There you go. That's that. I think that's done. Yeah, it looks good not missing anything so at this point I really kind of just I'm really anxious to take everything apart and, and it's fine go ahead um, just if it's if it's something you're gonna probably get your fingers all over like this like try to touch this and touch that don't do that just make sure if it's something small like just pushing up like this like up it's go ahead it's not gonna do anything but if if you're gonna have to like wrestle with the with the tape, don't do it. So like right here, I'm gonna have to get all around and stuff. I'd rather just leave that for later. That's how it looks, guys. Um, yeah, I got a little bit in there. You know who gives a fuck? Not me. So that's that. Just emphasize on masking if you don't want that to happen. And later, what I'm definitely gonna do is sand these letters down. But that's later on. Maybe later in the day. But for now, that's that, and it looks great. It looks way better than the than the black. Uh, I like how this color is satin. It's not super glossy. It's not super matte. It's kind of just in the middle. It's satin. If I'm saying it correctly. There you go. That's that. So thanks for watching, subscribe, and, and uh, like this video. Bye bye. So this is how it looks now red took off the paint on top of the letters yeah, I'll give you guys a lot better look at him thought it was actually gonna focus but, uh, uh, there we go so I did use my tool that sands it's called a Dremel and I sanded it off I do notice um, like little silver flakes in the middle of the cracks and stuff. I was very, very like kind of upset about it. I was like really trying hard to take them off. This and that. Um, I'm thinking, you know what? It's whatever. Because if I'm looking at it from far away, you can't not even tell that there's like stuff in there. And so one thing I'm going to do, last thing is install the clear coat and like I said just like in the other process of the last finishing touch on the cover is just going all around the bottom and then the top and then kind of go like this to the top and then back again so I'm only gonna do one clear coat that's it because from experiences that I've had with spray paint is if you overdo the clear clear coat or maybe I just don't wait long enough is it will start getting orange peel so so then after that, that that's what usually happens so I just I'm just gonna do one coat and that's it leave it like that and not put another clear coat because 
then it starts orange peeling so learn from my mistakes or just really really wait a long time like perhaps an hour and a half every coat you know and that might sound like exaggerating but dude if you want a good coat you should wait because if you don't you will get orange peel but even then like this looks all right it doesn't look bad at all it looks good I like the texture it kind of has and it is kind of glossy I like that but with the clear coat it's gonna be a little bit more glossy just like I want it like I said it does kind of look satin but even then that's what I'm gonna do right now and I'm gonna show you guys when it's installed in the car so this is how it looks with the rocker cover painted on looks good and the gloss really made it a lot more shinier a lot shinier than I wanted it to be but looking at it, it looks good and I'm not I'm not upset about it. it looks good so it looks a lot better um, the only thing that I don't like in the front is this but for now I really don't care uh, I mean I just wanted to do something with the actual engine itself like I wanted to paint it so yeah it looks a lot nicer so yeah hey YouTube um, I was about to end the video here but uh, this is a couple of days later and I think about a week after I painted the rocker cover it's very glossy still because of the gloss that I put afterwards very glossy it looks very nice I did do this kind of like a scratch right here I don't know if you can still if you can tell but it's there that's the only imperfection um besides that it looks great the engine looks good um it makes it look so much better but uh yeah i'm not gonna change the engine for a while so doing this makes it look at least decent so yeah here's the results and um i just want to say that <clears throat> yeah it's nicked but either way it looks really nice and like you know like everybody says nothing's perfect so so that's that and uh you know if you got a scratch here and there don't don't redo it just leave it like that you know because i was about to and i mean it looks perfect you know it looks perfectly fine it doesn't look perfect but it looks perfectly fine you know it's not something you should redo you know nothing's perfect but uh there's that and uh it looks very good even though that's there but the black and the red contrast is very good. I, I kind of don't like this, how it's I painted it red. But um, this should be black. But either way, don't really mind. Overall, it looks amazing. I wanted to show you guys in the day because last time I uh, taped it, it was uh, in, at night. And I don't know if you guys could see it that well. I kind of don't like the color red, but w red in a car looks actually like all right. Especially if it has Brembo brakes, which I'm going to do later on in the future before I change the engine, obviously. Because, you know, why have more horsepower when you don't have safety? So do that, and that's pretty much it. So there's that. I'm very proud of this car. It looks great. How it's coming, how it's coming about and how I've done all these little mods that anyone can do. They're not expensive. <clears throat> but um, overall, it looks great. And uh, stay tuned for the next one, guys.